to um, me and uh, we'll be racing David Thomas. Looks like David is leading and looking over his right shoulder trying to push uh, Emily up. Emily raced at uh, Shepparton yesterday and has probably got a fair bit of angst in her legs from uh, yesterday's activities. Pretty full program for the kids. James Dan was also there. And Emily's not wanting to let J uh, David box her in. No, she picked up the speed there where, when uh, Dave was trying to block it. And Emily's kick wants to end up controlling this race. Just lifted the speed up. And now she's going to sit behind David. She's a pretty smart move. Fainted the attack, got David now to lead her into the wind. That's a pretty clever thing to do. She's just going to sit there, I would think. We hit the bell. David looking under him, but he has left the door open for Emily to do just that. Going underneath into the sprinter's lane, and away she goes, and she's very quickly opened up 10, 15, 20 metre gap. David giving chase out of the saddle now. Uh, Emily will hit the wind before David, which will slow her down before him, so the gap will narrow. But I'd say Emily, as she comes into the home straight, is going to take that one fairly comfortable with a late charge from David. According to the draw, this should have been James and John. It is. It is? Good. Because I thought I was going crazy. So, Johnny Lewis. I'm not going to mention that he's Mr. Star Trek or anything like that because I know it's starting to annoy him. But he's leading out young James. James, like Emily, was up at Shepparton yesterday and equipped himself very well uh, in a crack field. The under 17 boys and has a lot of racing in his legs from yesterday. John has the opposite, not much training, unless he's been doing it secretly. So he's probably fresh and fit. And happy to lead James out. James just happy to sit on his wheel and get towed around at this point at a reasonably sedimentary pace. The bell is often a signal to go, go, go. But no one's going yet. John looking carefully. James can really only go around the outside, so John's uh, taken away one of James' avenues. James should probably now just ease back and then accelerate into the gap, and there he goes. Kicks hard, takes John a bit by surprise, even though John was looking at him. And he's opened up a commanding lead as he hits the home straight. Uh, he's going to take that very comfortably. Oh, so good win to James. And welcome back. To... Justin raced uh, last month with us. And he has improved on last year, than last month's time by about half a second, which is a good effort and uh, keeps up that sort of improvement. He'll be working his way up the grades. KG Merv, we used to call him Swerve and Merv. But he hasn't done that since. And we now pick on Ray as Chopper Ray. And Carl with his Mo can be called Chopper Reed. So the heat's two laps, and just an easy pace by both riders. Merv just happy to park himself on Justin's wheel. He'll have an idea of when he'll try to jump either up over the top or underneath. He can go under, the door's wide open to go under, but he doesn't want to do that yet because he's doing that into a strong headwind. Justin looking over his left shoulder knows that Merv can really only go one way, and this is where Gets a little bit tricky because the door's open for Murr. Has he pushed hard enough? Got to kick hard and try to beat Justin to that bottom corner, make him go around the long way. Justin with superior leg speed there, moves away from Murr. That's a very powerful move from Justin. Stays wide, probably had the opportunity to come down into the lane, didn't need to, went the long